any last minute questions here? A uh, very, very, very sloppy market today. We'll briefly look at that for first second here. Let me turn my phone off. Um, very sloppy market. So technically speaking, we're gapping up. This isn't a gap I go long. It, it's, I basically qualify this as neutral, but technically we are up today slightly. <laughs> very interesting because every week for the last, I guess it was been four weeks, yeah, I think it's been four weeks of bad economic and uh, uh, really huge, massive unemployment numbers, and the market has rallied on every one of them, which is which is very strange. I don't think that that's going to continue. What do I mean? I mean, one of these weeks with huge, massive millions of dollar, millions of people out of uh, work, the market is going to fall on that. Again, we're not playing the data anyways. I'm playing the chart. But as far as this goes here, Look for a really sloppy, sloppy setup here today in this market. So don't look for any traction to the upside or the downside in the market today in the direction. Very sloppy. And I won't be surprised if we fall, but it's not going to happen this morning. So we're not going to do anything with this. And this has nothing to do with anything. So. Um, thanks, Kathy. Hope you're doing good. Hope everyone's doing good. I was able to get a food order in. Yay! And I wore a mask for the first time because now they're just giving out like free packs of masks. So I got a second pack. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess I could wear one. And I had it on upside down. I had it on reverse. <laughs> like, I'm like, I don't know how to put this on. Which way goes in the front? Which way goes in the back? Because I can't read Chinese because the, the masks are from China. And I'm like, I can't read Chinese. So I couldn't read the instructions. I only encountered one person, which was the doorman, and he had no mask on or gloves. I'm like, okay. Saw the snow you had in Upper State New York. Wow, that's that's insane. I actually have the air conditioning on here today, so it must be must be fairly warm out. We definitely have had some crazy weather. <laughs> All right, so let's focus on what we're doing today. If this doesn't sit up, we're not doing anything. If it does, we're going to hit it. Target is 37, and it's very spready right now, so hopefully that'll tighten up. And dream target on this would be 35. I think it needs a market for that. Yeah, snow in April. I'm trying to think. It, we've had that probably before in Pennsylvania. I don't know if I've, we've – I don't think we've ever had snow in – April in New York, but we didn't have much snow this year. We had next to no snow this year, actually, in New York. Would have rather had the snow than this insane virus. Okay, here we go. And the spread did tighten up. Okay. So let's... Well, let's wait a minute. Let's just wait one second. Yeah, we're probably gonna fall today. I mean, this is so sloppy. Slop, 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 and a chop. But we're not gonna have to do anything with that. All right, let me see here. Okay, nothing, nothing yet. Let's look at this. Gosh, should we just short BA again? Mm. No, I, I don't wanna do this as a day trade, but this is lower. I was just, you know, it's just, it's just slower. Um, Jackie's like, yes, do it, do it. All right, I'm watching MS, and we'll see if this has anything that makes any sense. In fact, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with this right now. Thirty-seven fifty by thirty-eight fifteen. If that hits, thirty-seven fifty by thirty-eight fifteen. I'm giving you both numbers here because I have time to do so. That's what we're gonna look for. Actually, we could do fifty-five. Here, you can do it. 
Do it right in here. Here, it's going to hit. And get the stop in. And this is, this is actually here. All right, good timing. In fact, let me just double check that. Well, let's say 38.25. 38.25, stop in MS if you're in it. Here, let me write it in the room. MS, 38.25, stop. And if you're in it, you're in it. And if you're not in it, you could still do it. And actually, this has to go as right, right now. If that doesn't go immediately, then we're going to take a stop and we're not going to do anything else. And we'll take the one stop today. Very sloppy market. I hope this goes because... I don't want to give it any more room and it's got to go like now. So it didn't break 50. If you didn't do it, you could wait till under 50. Again, well, we could give it, we could give it 38. You want to give it 38, 30? I really don't think this should matter. Let, let's give it 38, 30. Just give it five more cents. Just quickly get it in 3830. This has got to go right now, though. This has to go like in the next two minutes, five minutes. It's got to go. If this backs up at all, we're going to get stopped out. Let's look at BA. Very sloppy. Fell yesterday. In fact, we'll talk about this because some of you emailed me about this. Uh, <laughs> that BA yesterday it had a beautiful beautiful move and I, I and you have and I said before I exited the room don't be piggers um so as far as things go especially particularly the options trades I'm calling so many you could exit the trains and then you take the new trades do you know what I'm saying exit the trades the week that they're expiring then take the new ones I'm calling so many. You can't forget to book profits in this market. Please, don't forget that. It's a very, very important part. I know some of you are like, I don't want to miss it if it goes to 120 today. Why? You're not going to. Because, you're, because I'm calling 50 other trades, so you won't miss it. Here, I think this is going to go, but it's not going easily. Goldman was ridiculous yesterday. And again, we're waiting for that to fall again, too. Well, this is starting to sell off here a little bit today. glad we did not day trade that we would have been stopped out okay here we are so ms just, just got to get some traction under it again i kind of jumped the gun a little bit i originally said 50 then i said 55 maybe we should have waited to 50 but it's too late now if you're in it you're in it if you're not in it wait till 50 so one of these weeks i don't know when i don't know what what the number has to be for the market to feel negative about the unemployment rate or the unemployment claims um five million six million ten million seven million i don't know but you know it's it makes absolutely no sense and that's why it's we just don't trade fundamentals because again you have something that has good earnings and then it falls you have something that's bad earnings and then it then it then it rallies uh like we had the initial rally in in uh one of the banks this week so you you just can't go by that am i surprised that we're rallying on these horrible numbers yes yes i am but again i'm i'm looking at the overall chart when i'm saying that the market is still lower <laughs> excuse me but one of these times the market is not going to rally when the number is big i don't know when that is could be may could be june who knows nobody knows how long this is going to go on what about the market Yeah, this is very sloppy, though, because we did gap up. So we're not shorting this today. But again, if you're in the stuff I call, you just you got you to hold the conviction. I mean, it's, I've been right about so many things that I know we didn't go long Netflix, and I know we didn't go long Amazon, and I know some of you were salivating about these bullish moves. But we'll have about one billion earnings plays in the next six weeks. So I don't feel any reason to go long for news, which is all, that's, that's what these things were. News was Netflix and Amazon and even the Tesla and that other one that Zen Trader put in. Uh, that's the laboratory. These are just new stuff. That's not normally what we do. I'm not saying I never do a news gap, but in today's world, 
it's got to be like the most amazing thing I ever saw for me to want to do it. And hindsight's twenty twenty because I'm telling you, I wouldn't have played that those bullish gaps. And then by the time they went, they were really breakout plays and they went. But it is interesting because some of you do prefer to go long still overnight holding it based on the last two, three years we've had of doing options. And I know it's very difficult for some of you to hold any puts overnight. You, you still want to go long. And that says a lot also about retail traders in the market. People prefer to go long. This, we're, not, we're not investors here, though. We're playing the moves. We're playing the moves and we're booking the money and then we're getting out. And that's, what, that's all that we're looking for. We're playing the momentum. We're not long-term investors saying Amazon is going to continue up and it's great long-term investment, which it is. Buy the stock if you want. But for the trades that we're getting, we're playing momentum. And you can't forget that. This is going nowhere either. All right, let's look at some of these other things. Wow, did anyone stay in, in, the, in the puts in JPM? Wow. Did anyone stay with this trade? You could still be in it. Look at that. Woo. That was another nice call. I wish we would have done this today. Look at this. Wells Fargo's falling before Morgan Stanley. All right, here we go. If you didn't do it, do it under 50. MS. Kind of wish we had done Wells Fargo because if we had, we would have been done. Done already and done, done, done. And I do think today should be a quick day, a fast day, as far as the day trains, and tomorrow probably too. In fact, let me look and see what's out for tonight and tomorrow. It's been a good week. Yesterday was a good day. Here we go. Here's MS. Nice call. Um, what is today? The 15th, the 6th, the 16th. Here we go. We just broke 50. Yay, here we go. I'm watching 37 for a number, and I may just take it in and take it because it may bounce. So, I mean, 37 is the first target. Know that. Not much out tonight. Let's look at tomorrow. Again, the busy week starts next week. PG is tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. with any of these things housing starts to take a turn for the worse let's go to the data tomorrow yeah not really anything tomorrow I don't know what we're doing tomorrow but this is working all right here we go hand of the button here to see how it acts at 37 if it bounces we're out if it continues to break it we'll try to get down to 3680 3675 Another nice call. Um, sometimes when things get challenging, again, you, you, you know, people under pressure can rise to the top, and I wanted to make sure that I'm reading everything and double, double, triple checking myself with every trade we're doing, every time I look at the market, every time, everything. And uh, I've done an outstanding job, if I do say so myself. So we can get one more push down in here into 945. Jackie says, yes, you have. Thank you. And good job holding that JPM deal yesterday, Jackie. No one else answered, so I'm guessing no one is still in this. And again, I, I think booking profits is essential, but what a nice move. $10 through the strike, I called at 99. Beautiful call. All right, so we're in this and we're waiting. But you could have you could have just got out. You could have said, ah, oh, I'm out. Now let's look at these things here. Again, sloppy market. Gapped up, dropped, was red. Now trying to rally. Slop City USA is this market right now. Which again just tells me even further what have I been saying all along? We're lower. You want to do BA again? Hmm. I don't think it's sitting up right as a day trade, but I'll go look at it. Gosh, it's taking forever. Here we go this time. I 
is this is a snail. If, you, if you've never played this before, this is just how this stock is. It wiggles and jiggles. It's a snail, snail, snail. And I kind of wish we had done this because it wasn't as snaily. Oh, I guess we still could do this, actually. At least we could. I'll keep looking at that. Um, you made 9,500 in JPM. Great job, Zen Trader. Great job, you're on fire. So you you held that? You you held that since today? Or was that yesterday you got out of it? It's fabulous. Um, again, if we're going to do something else today, I think I'd do Wells Fargo here. Here, this is going again. Nah, I, I'm not going to get crazy. I, I'm really just going to, I'm just doing so great. I'm just going to situate myself. If you want to do this, you can. You can short WFC if you want, put the stop at 28.15 if you want another trade. Or if, you, if for some reason you do this and got out, I'm just going to stick with one thing. I'm not going to get nuts. All the options are running unless you get out of some of them. And again, you have to, you have, you can't forget the dates of these expirations. Even though you're like, oh, everything looks amazing. You, you still have to book profits. Here we are, we're red. All right, let's talk about the numbers in the spy. Somebody, anybody, you tell me where we're going to fall off a cliff here. We've been talking about it every day. And actually, let's see if anyone listens to me. What did I say yesterday about the market? Go. Anyone. I'm going to look around and see if anything else is up here. What did I say yesterday about the market? When we were down in the morning, what did I say? 